everybody. I'm going to do a tutorial on making my homemade binder clip purses. Um, like I told you before, I made these when I did my doll for my dollhouses, and I put them inside, like on the bedroom dressers or something. So I like to kind of incorporate some of my ideas with scrapbooking, because like I said, I love both of the hobbies. So um, I thought these would look cute hanging from a tag or a charm, um, be a charm hanging from a tag or a mini album. I don't know how good you can see this, um, but there is a little bead on the top and um, little rick rack for the handle. And I just use material, and you can see the sides. It looks like a purse. Um, I don't know how good the camera's picking that up, but as all I did was I made it from these black little binder clips. Um, they're three quarter inch binder clips. You can make them bigger if you want a bigger purse or smaller. I just feel that this is a good size. The first thing that you want to do is, and this one I made out of ribbon with the material, this um, animal print ribbon. And then I used, I just cut a piece of, I have this cool ribbon and it's golden black. So I just cut a piece of this off to use as the handle and then I glued an itty bitty gold bead on the top for the handle. But anyways, the first thing that you want to do is to, where'd my binder clip go? Is you want to remove these and it's very easy to squeeze and pull it out. Put it to the side. Sometimes you want to hold on to that because um, you're going to want to use, you can use this to put the glue in here and push in your fabric inside there. I don't know if it's better on the white or the dark, so I don't know. Um, and then how I like to do it, I, I usually take a little bit of this Eileen's Tacky Glue and I put it on some paper, on scrap paper next to me, and I use toothpicks. Um, toothpicks are your best friend when you're doing miniatures. And the first thing that I want to do is take some of my glue Oh, it's glued to the page. And I applied it on this little stick and I'm going to put it on um put it on the binder clip on the front. Just dab it on there. And then I take my little piece of fabric and you just need to cut a little square enough that's gonna go on the front and flip around to the back. And um you wanna get it underneath the lip. So push it way up there, so the lip of the binder clip, um, it's hard to see on camera because it's pretty small, but you kind of get the idea. So you push it down. This glue does dry clear, too. And then you're going to turn it over because you're going to want to do the same thing to the other side. And apply the glue. And then you can also put a little bit of glue on the bottom of your binder clip. And then you're going to fold, do it tight and you might have to cut, I'm going to cut it because um, I got, it's too tall and I want it to squeeze under that lip. Okay, so now I'm going to wedge it under this lip and the fabric will stretch of course. But you want to make sure that it gets under there. You'll see what I mean if you try it. Okay, so now it's stuck on both sides. Is it easier to see in the dark? Darker background? Okay, so now the next thing that you want to do is you need to tuck these corners inside. And here I want to take a little bit of glue and not get it on the fabric, but stick it inside the binder clip in the triangle part. And just rub it in there like you're swabbing your throat when you have strep throat or something. Just jiggle it around or cleaning your ears or what have you. So just stick it in there, wiggle it around, get some glue inside there. And then take your other toothpick or, like I said before, you can use this and kind of just shove. I'm going to use the toothpick with this one. Just shove it in there. No rhyme or reason. Just shove it all in there and the glue will hold it. Get all the edging in there, the edge of the fabric or whatever. Keep shoving it in there, and then it'll dry. And so it looks like it's actually a folded. Can you 
see that? It looks like it's folded up like a purse that you would buy. Then you want to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. These are so cute. Oh, this is a lot on this side. So what I'm going to do is I am going to trim. You want a lot, but not that much. So open it up a little bit. Got to hurry on time here. Stick the glue in there, wiggle it around. And take your other toothpick and just shove. Shove it in there, it'll form the triangle on its own. Perfect. See how nice that looks? It's so cute. So, so cute. Now you can paint if you want to. You can paint these and then paint this part of the purse. Um, it's up to you. Now I'm going to, for my beat, for my handle on this one, I have this really pretty ribbon. Um, it's gold and red. Can you see that? So I'm just going to cut a little strip, strip off just enough to make a loop for the handle. I'm actually going to cut it longer because I'm going to cut this frayed end off. And you don't want it really long, and it'll bend. So there's two little grooves right there that you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two, my glue is drying, I have a fan on, put two, you know, put some glue in there, a big dollop, a dollop, <laughs> mashed potatoes. And then you can just stick, stick the ends in here. And like I said, it's not going to be handled going to hang on something so it will dry and kind of wedge it down in there and isn't that pretty isn't that gorgeous and then to top it off I take a little bead a little gold bead a teeny little bead or you can use a pearl or whatever kind you know whatever fabric you're using and I put the glue on there probably should have put the little bead and that's like the clasp Voila! And there's your little... little tiny purse that you can hang on a mini album or a tag. I'll show you from the side. It's all sparkly and glammy and... Um, thanks so much! I hope you liked it and hope you... Um, Create some of your own, and uh, let me see some if you do. Use all kinds of fabrics and ribbons and anything your little heart desires. So hope you try it out, and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye-bye.